Hello everyone. We know this plant as uh, mother-in-law's tongue, or some also call it snake plant, probably because of the texture which it has. Um, very interestingly, for past almost now 20 years, I have been harboring and pondering about the idea um, to kind of you know use this plant in textile development or or you know creation of certain fabric or material uh, which can be used for either clothing or upholstery or, or or maybe you know something something completely different uh, but I did not really work on uh, you know the furtherment uh, with this idea and so it, it just remained uh, as is for so long for me at least uh, as far as I know I haven't seen anyone in and around me who has used this uh, uh, you know idea to create to generate something although I have seen some recently I have seen some uh, videos on um, on YouTube where Thailand, I believe, or Cambodia, Vietnam, somewhere, uh, using uh, you know the fibers from from the uh, from the lotus uh, stock, and so this is like you know one of those uh, ideas. Uh, what you see here is one of the you know variety of of the mother-in-law's tongue. Uh, I don't really know the name of this. I can find out. For now, uh, this is what we are looking at, and I've been observing this uh, earlier. I thought that you know probably I would need um, I would need a, a proper lab to kind of dissolve the cellulose, have the fibers separated, and then you know put it into spinning, etc., etc. Uh, but uh, we we do see that this can be also observed naturally all right i had just set this up so that i don't waste a lot of time on uh, or you know <coughs> handling of the cam of the phone camera etc what we see here is the leaves from the plant which i have just shown you um, these are the leaves and as you see very very strong extremely strong why are they so strong what happens is they have fibers inside right and when the leaves go old can you can you see here you see these yeah these So these fibers, extremely strong and with time and sunlight and water, the cellulose they get decayed, they start decaying and as you see here, there is this fine membrane that cellulose uh, if I say, put it in water and crush it, it will just it will just go away, get mixed with soil and and finished. But with the fiber here, if you can if you can see against the light, you can see those threads. With the fiber they don't decay and that's that's the property which we need for for any fabric generation or or a textile creation etc etc as you can see here i have just shown you the, the cellulose part and here also you can see the cellulose or that membrane 
has already gone so this actually decayed uh, you know in the pot itself it, it broken off and the leaf broken off and it was lying in the pot so because we have rains happening right now uh, I could observe this so you can see this very transparent upper uh, layer epidermis or something like that and you can see it's it's continuous so from above till below it's just going below like this but you can also see these fibers you see the fibers and these are mind you very strong very very strong strong enough at least to have you know to withstand the spinning process or to withstand the weaving process etc etc um, just take one of these strands for you and show you how strong they are we have already seen with the leaf or the leaf has um, a lot of uh, you know, other material also around fibers alone although the whole strength is because of the fiber and nothing else yeah. so you can see the length and you have already seen the length of the of the leaves which is uh, which is pretty long enough uh, you know for uh, uh, so that a big long yarn can be you know created see these fibers flowing all right so this is uh, after the extraction as and when I get you know any uh, assistance from from a lab from a textile lab from individuals or a, or a college or uh, uh, any other institute who would like to collaborate on this I will definitely you know look for that uh, opportunity uh, but for for now if anyone of you who is watching this video wants to uh, take this up uh, be my guest uh, and let me know what kind, what kind of fabric you could you know get from you could achieve from this particular plant look at these look at the fibers they're amazing and i'm sure i'm sure it would have a silk like texture uh, when the fabric is created from Whoever wants to take this up, uh, I 
I'm waiting for my opportunity. Uh, if somebody wants to collaborate, if you want to collaborate with me, if you are a lab, if you are someone who would uh, want to take this up, take this further, please write to me. You can write it here in the comments and, and you can.